Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can change the name of your Wi-Fi or the password of your Wi-Fi if you've got BT Hub 3, 4, 5, 6 um, that works on any BT Hub. It's quite easy to do, so as long as you've got a computer, um, it's much easier on a computer than on a phone or a tablet, um, then you follow along with steps and I'm sure it'll be quite easy for you. So yeah, let's go. So you should be able to see my screen right now on the, on the computer. So I have this on my desktop already. It's um, the BT Home Hub Manager um, shortcut to the internet. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Um, now, what this shortcut is to is to the IP address of the hub. Um, you can change it, but they will come default. So if you type into your browser 192.168.1.254, which is at the top of the screen um, in this bar, then you'll get this page up for your hub. It'll be personalised to you. Now, um, what you do from here um, is it will change you, as long as you've got the admin password. I know the admin password because I've changed it. I'll show you how to do it in another video. But to um, normally do this, um, all you've got to do is click on this one, which is the wireless tab. It's in the middle at the top. Um, so go ahead and open that, and you'll get this page come up. Okay. Um, now I have both bands open: the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. Um, we put the guests on the 5 gigahertz because it's easier than because there's a few BT Hub 6s around here. Instead of them having to like, look for it, just the cold guest one, it's a lot easier. So that's why I have the two bands split. Um, but if you push change settings at the top of the page, and then it asks you to enter the admin password, you just enter it, hit enter, and it'll open this. I don't want to save the iCloud, so hit not now. Um, and then here, as you can see, I've got my hub name. The other band's name and the password, which was for both of them, which is this bit here. If you want to change the name, you, you click on it, you put whatever you want to change. I don't want to change the name, but in this box here, you select it, you put type whatever you want. Same as the password, you select it, delete it, put whatever you want. Once you've done that, um, for whatever you want to change, let's go back up to the top and hit the save button. I haven't done any changes um, it's not going to save anything different but if you do it will normally have like a pink or orange box come up the top right and it will tell you that it's done and when that box goes green and says it's saved done then um, it will unpair all of your devices um, as a warning you'll have to re-put the password into everything and um, that's why I'm not doing it now to show you because I have a lot of devices on here um, but once you've done that just give it it will work you know straight away as long as you put the right password in and you're ready to go. So I hope that helped um, a lot of you guys out. Because I mean, it's quite hard to figure out. If you need any other, you know, um, bits of help or there's things in it that weren't clear enough, just comment them down below, and I'll get back to you and respond. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for all. Subscribe. See you later. Bye bye.